Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video for the Black and Silver Way. 2020 has been probably the craziest year of my life as opposed of my life changing. Over the last six months, I've been contemplating about doing this video. I really, really was dreading it and not wanting to do it, but I knew in my heart that this had to happen. And I know some of my longtime subscribers, friends and family knew that this was coming about any day or you know, anytime soon. I'm officially gonna be retiring the Black and Silver Way YouTube channel. I'm here to explain why, and I'm here to explain uh, kind of what's been going on and you know the future plans that I have. Back when I started this YouTube channel, um, I know I think I've explained this before, but a lot of my friends started getting into hobbies when we graduated high school. I actually moved away from where I was originally from, and I was living with my parents, and I didn't really have a hobby, and I had a lot of free time. At the time, I was watching a lot of YouTube because YouTube started getting big when it was on the mobile phone. So I found the Raider content because I was really into the Raiders at the time and I started watching some Raider YouTube bloggers from back in the day. I said, well, I kind of want to do my own thing. I want to have my own spin on it because I was pretty passionate as well. So I lost my shit a few times on camera, more than a few times, you know, and I ended up getting some really heavy views and, you know, met a lot of people in the Raider Nation and the YouTube channel just started to take off. When it started taking off, I was able to meet a lot of cool people in the Raider Nation and I was starting to go to a lot of Raider events and traveling and it was a lot of fun. I even went to a few away games, uh, things that I think I would have never done. It's just a regular Raider fan, you know, just watching the Raider games on Sunday. I started going and attending a lot of things and really getting serious about uh, the Raider franchise. It was all a lot of fun. Um, like I said, at that time, I really was a lot different. I had a lot less responsibility in life. And I was able to do those things because I was, you know, living with my parents and just kind of going for it. And I had the time. When things started really taking off, I was able to meet a lot of good friends and uh, a lot of go to a lot of different events for the Raiders. And uh, at the time, like I said, I was living with my parents, so I really didn't have a care in the world. And uh, I was always doing Raider stuff. I was always able to make content because I would work a part-time job, go home, and be able to blog about the Raiders all the time. So I really grinded out back then and really built this you know, channel up really well and pretty fast. But as the years went on, I moved back to where I was from and um, I've been doing, you know, started partying pretty hard because I just got my first house. So I was always drinking. I wasn't doing drugs. I used to do drugs, lots of drugs in high school. I was a mess, but I don't do drugs for the record because I remember when I came back from YouTube, I was like, I was going through a lot of personal stuff. People were like, well, you didn't touch base on what it was and were you, are you doing drugs or something? And no, I don't do drugs. I don't even smoke weed. Um, but yes, I do drink a lot. I mean, I drink, you know, but uh, I was partying a lot when I got that house again. But hey, YouTube was still rolling. YouTube was still rolling at the time. I still was really into it and I was really blogging about the Raiders still pretty heavily because even though I was living on my own and starting a full time job, I was still really into it at the time because the Raider YouTube channel was just building. So I had to keep that momentum up. And I had a lot of good times on there even when I got back to where I was originally from, from like 2014 to 2017. That was actually the prime time of this YouTube channel. Uh, when 2017 hit, I just really felt kind of burnt out. I felt like um, I kind of needed a break. Plus, on top of that, the Raiders went from playoff contention back down to rebuilding. It was kind of a, a, a hit in the gut for me. Not as like my faithfulness, but definitely my time put in. I felt like when I was, you know, doing that whole playoff run and I was traveling and, you know, watching some games and really going hard with it. And then for them to just reset and trade off all our draft picks, uh, you know, Khalil Mack, all that. I was just like, I just needed some time to clear my head, to wrap my, my head around what was going on with the franchise at the time. Uh, so I took like a year break or so from blogging. Then I got back on it in 2018 to 2019. And... You know, I was doing the game recaps. I wasn't hitting all of them, but just kind of when I wanted to, when I felt like I wanted to. And at the time, guys, I mean, life changes, my family changes. I've had a lot of issues and things like outside of, you know, YouTube and work. And, and you know, my whole personal life was like just kind of changing around me. So I feel like um, YouTube for me was kind of put more on the back burner and I was really more focused on, you know, fixing my life. Um, so... 2020 hits around 2019 I pretty much do all the game recaps had a I had, I had fun doing that but when 2020 hit and uh, I did a video saying I was going to do the offseason stuff 
um, you know, all of a sudden you got, um, you know, right after that video was made, uh, my whole life kind of flipped upside down. Uh, I am going to be a father. <laughs> yes, right. I know, crazy. My first kid, first pregnancy, anything. Um, she it is going to be a daughter. Uh, we found out it's going to be a daughter by now. So October 6th is going to be the due date. So I'm really, really excited to be a father. And um, it's with a really good person, you know, that I love. So she's going to be a great mother. And I'm really excited for that. Um, I have a house now. As you see, it's really different in here. This is actually my house. So I got my first house. Um, there's a lot of, those are like the really good positive things that happen. Also, the COVID thing happened. I wasn't able to start work. I wasn't working. I was always home and I started working from home. And during that time, I had a lot of time to make YouTube videos and do stuff about the Raiders, but we didn't even know what was going on with this season. So I wasn't really interested on it and I wanted to see where it was gonna go. And then the draft comes around. I had tickets to go to Vegas. So I was gonna do a whole YouTube video out there and I had friends that were gonna spend a whole weekend with me out there recording. That got put away because of the whole COVID thing. But during the whole COVID thing, I had a lot of time to reflect and uh, just kinda, I got off Instagram on my personal Instagram. I used to have the black and silver way. I had a beer Instagram because I really like craft beer and then I also had my personal Instagram every day I was getting on my personal Instagram I was seeing all these things and all these people that I went to high school with that I don't even know or talk to anymore and I would just be scrolling through for days for days and I'm like why am I even on this thing I want to cut this off and get off the grid man because I had a lot of time to reflect during COVID a lot of time to be quarantined and it just seemed like all these people that I would like see every day on my phone I was like why am I looking at these people it's so irrelevant so I decided to erase my personal Instagram since I had since 2012 and it's freaking amazing since I did that because I don't see half of crap that I don't want to see anymore and you know I have the black and silver way one which like I said I've been so disconnected from like the Raiders I've been so disconnected from social media I just kind of wanted to take a step back you know because honestly like I said I have a kid coming and um, I really want to be the best father I can be um, I have been making really good financial moves recently and just really trying to chill out on spending money and just going places I don't need to go to. Just because I'm having a kid doesn't mean I'm just like, oh, now I have to be this awesome father. But you know what I mean. There's definitely some things that I needed to tweak uh, in my life because I've been an only child my whole life and I've always just kind of took what came, came to me. And I feel like right now I just kind of ch got to chill back a little bit and just really just make some more financial smart moves. And uh, I feel like getting off Instagram and getting off the grid was something I wanted to do and it's really been helping me out a lot lately. As opposed to the YouTube channel, like I said, I really have had no desire to make Raider content this year. Even during the quarantine, like I had a lot of time. Honestly, the thing that I've gotten into is streaming. You guys have seen on my YouTube videos, all I do is post Call of Duty videos because I play a lot of Call of Duty. Every day, every night, I play at least two hours of Call of Duty with my friends. I have the whole recording set up, set up and I know that's not really gaining views and I know like I have a lot to do on that, but hey, I'm ready for the challenge and I wanna start streaming and I wanna start taking it more serious and I'm not a bad player, so I've really gotten interested in gaming and streaming. I know it's kind of a big thing right now, but that's just kind of what I'm doing right now. I've always been into games, I just have never streamed. I have literally always been a gamer. The whole time I've had this YouTube channel, I play games probably every day ever since I've started my this channel so that's something that's not like oh I'm just getting into streaming now and I'm gonna start gaming I'm a gamer I've been a gamer my whole life so I just kind of got the setup to be able to stream and got the capture card and all that but yeah man uh, I really don't have any interest to do any more Raider content and I'm sorry for some of you guys my longtime subscribers that you guys might be bummed out about this but you know what, I gotta be honest with myself. I gotta be honest with you guys. I've been lacking on the content. I know some of you guys, when you see me post the videos uh, of the gaming stuff, they're like, where's the, where's the Raider stuff? I actually have so much gaming content saved up right now. I don't even wanna put it on that YouTube channel because that's not why you guys subscribe. So I'm probably not gonna, um, I'm not gonna upload to this YouTube channel anymore, especially about gaming. I'm not gonna just transition that and do that to you guys. I will keep all the content that I've done for the Raiders on this channel. I'm not gonna just erase the channel. I'll just keep it up, keep it live because we went out there and recorded at O.co. We got a lot of good reactions. I have some funny videos of myself losing my shit over the Raiders and 
overall, you know, those were just good memories. Uh, there was, it was all good memories for me. And I'm going to keep all that live. And, you know, maybe, who knows? Maybe when I go to my first Raider game, when that's going to be, especially with the ticket prices that we're seeing right now. So I don't know when the first Raider game is going to be that I go to. But, hey, who knows? Maybe I'll pull up the camera and just upload randomly. So if you guys want to still stay subscribed on this channel, you'll probably see a video or two a year about the Raiders or something, you know. I'm not saying that I'm just fully going to be gone. But definitely game recaps, uh, all the updates that I did say in January that I was going to try to keep up to date with. You know, honestly, at the end of the day, like I said, guys, I had a lot of time to reflect. I had a lot of life-changing stuff this year. And it's just not me anymore. It's just not me anymore. Samoan Raider, um, all the rest of the, uh, you know, bigger YouTube channels. I mean, since I stopped YouTubing uh, for the Raiders, I've noticed that there's literally like, eight different Ra Raider YouTube channels now that have just came up in the last like four months since they've moved to Vegas. Literally like eight of them. I've seen like a pair of dudes. I've seen like two other people. I have like five or six other people DMing me in my DMs on my Instagram. They're like, hey bro, I made a, there's a ra new Raider anthem. I'm like, fuck bro, we have like 30 and now we have another 30 just from this year for them going to Vegas. It's crazy. I mean, the Raider fans, they're always going to pop up. Raider fans are, it's the biggest, best franchise probably out of any sports. But, man, there's a lot of Raider content out there, guys. And a lot of people that are doing it much better than me and more consistent. Definitely go give them a support. And, um, yeah, man, uh, thank you to, to everybody. Uh, thank you to everybody during this whole process, all these years. I've had a lot of fun. Um, but like I said, at this time, I'm going to be doing some gaming streaming um, on my other YouTube channel. Um, I'll leave the link down in the description below. If you guys want to see me, you know, and kind of contact me or anything like that, the Black and Silver Ways Instagram will still be up. It'll just kind of be there. And um, I do have another Instagram for my gaming channel and the YouTube channel. I'll drop that down in the link description below. But that's it, guys. I want to make it short and sweet. Don't want to take too much of your time. Thank you so much for everything you guys have done for me. I really appreciate it. At the end of the day, I'm still a Raider fan, guys. I just want to be a fan. I want to be a regular fan like the rest of you guys that do not have this outlet like I do. This is something that was just a hobby, and I'm not into it anymore. So, like I said, go Raiders, guys. Thank you so much for all these years of the support. If you guys want to continue to support me, I'm going to drop the link down in the bottom for my new YouTube channel. It's starting from scratch. I'll see you guys later. Peace.